Employee Portal as a bookmark for easy access. The system is going to be using um, user authentication, so it's going to want to have my username and password. Once I log into the Employee Portal, on a daily basis, my functions that I'm going to be accessing are my clocking in for the day and clocking out for the day. So as an employee, the first thing that I'm going to do is clock in. And I've already clocked in for the day, so the system is actually prompting me and telling me that um, I've already clocked in, uh, so I don't have duplicate punches. At the end of the day, my process is going to be to, again, access the employee portal and clock out. Uh, as an employee, I do have the ability to review what I have um, punched in the, in the history. Um, but normally, I'm going to come into my timesheets and uh, see for the week, for this week, for prior weeks, uh, what hours do I have, uh, what the status is, whether or not it's been submitted to my supervisor. And once my supervisor has reviewed my time, whether or not it's been approved or denied. And when they've submitted it to the payroll area, it's actually going to say that it's been approved and submitted to um, to the, the payroll processing. Uh, within here, I do also have the ability to uh, enter my own vacation or holiday time. Again, that's going to be approved or disapproved by my supervisor before it moves on to the, the payroll department. And um, so as an end user, I do not have you know, uh, the permissions to be approving my own vacation or my own holiday pay. If I'm interested in um, how my hours were calculated uh, in terms of the daily punches in and out, I do have the closed daily punches that I can review on a um, historical basis. So if I thought that I should have perhaps been paid over time and didn't receive that uh, pay accordingly, I can go back and I can look at the actual ins and outs for each day and um, have the historical record to reference when I'm discussing that with my supervisor in terms of what, what I should or should not have been paid for. I'm going to return back to the role center, which is my home page. And we are going to now look at my employee record. So again, what's happening is the system is accessing NAV database behind the scenes and filtering and pull, pulling up my specific employee record. And within this, I have the ability to make a few changes, such as uh, you know my street address. Maybe I've moved into a different city. Um, I can also go under the navigate option and update my contacts. So perhaps I have some. Um, new emergency contacts or additional children or uh, maybe a parent that I want to have listed in the human resource area for, um, for, for references in case something were to happen and, and other people need to be contacted. I can maintain my affiliations, uh, national organizations, local organizations, um, maybe charitable organizations that I belong to that uh, I would want to um, maintain the information in here as well. I can, I can set that up as an end user, uh, as well as my qualifications. Now, this would be a nice feature with the um, job requisitions. Perhaps there's, there's jobs that are opening within the company and in the, uh, the human resource area would like to see who has specific qualifications. They can run a report and uh, see who has a master's degree within um, the, uh, the marketing area. Uh, of course, this would all have to be verified after the fact, but um, as a, uh, an employee, I can, as I'm maintaining different uh, credentials, I can add these. Perhaps I've, um, I've gone through an Excel class and I want to record that information, and when I did that, so I have that ability as well. I also have the ability to reprint my own payroll checks, um, the pay stubs, not the checks themselves. And so again, I don't have to contact the Human Resource Department if I'm applying for um, a refinancing of my home mortgage or a new home. Um, and I want to go back and, and pull up the last two, three uh, pay stubs and reprint those for 
submission to the bank, I have the ability to do that right from my employee portal. So from within my paychecks, I select check stub reprint, and then I have the option to send it to a PDF document, and the system will go ahead and print that. And then I have the ability to actually bring that up and just send it to my printer and print it to a hard copy then that I can actually submit to the bank or save it to PDF and email it to them. So again, you see that I do have the pay stub. No actual um, check uh, information is being printed so that I am not you know, reprinting an actual a check. I'm going to close this out. Along with um, all the other information, I also do have the statistics that I can review as well as an employee. And what that's actually going to give me is a nice overview of what's been going on with my current check, quarter to date, year to date, and I can actually see what um, where I was at uh, prior year to date as well. Uh, along within here, I do have the employer expenses, so I can actually see what the employer has been contributing to my um, Social Security, Medicare, uh, also, if I were to drill down on this, I would actually see um, the unemployment expenses as well. If I scroll a little bit further down, I'm actually going to be able to see all of the different information, um, not just my earnings and deductions, but also uh, my hours, my vacation hours. This particular employee actually is a salaried employee. If I were an hourly employee, I would actually see um, my earnings, but I would also see the paid hours uh, displayed here as well. Now, any one of these fields, I certainly could go ahead and I can click on that, and the system's going to bring up the information behind that. So um, it's actually showing me what's making up, up that verb. Along the right-hand side of my uh, um, employee page, I have um, additional information. I have my vacation sick time, so I can actually see what is making up my balance. Right now I have uh, six hours. Six, six and uh, uh, a quarter hour available. And when I click on that, the system is showing me how I've um, accrued that time. If I had used time, that would actually be displayed here as well. I also have the ability to look at my payroll information. Uh, so tax authorities are going to be my filing statuses. So for my federal and state withholdings, what I'm claiming for my filing statuses and my allowances. I don't have the ability to make changes here, but it does allow me to review this. And um, when I need a change, then we'll be looking at it shortly here, how I can actually uh, fill in the W-4 form and submit that to the Human Resource Department to update this information for me. I also have the ability to um, look at other authorities. This is going to be um, what I'm uh, uh, taking as my, in this case, a um, the medical plan, health insurance plan. I'm claiming the, fi the family plan um, and when that was uh, effective. If there were dental and other benefits as well, those would be listed here if I'm, if I'm taking advantage of those. Now when I'm looking at my benefit rates, this is going to be my earnings and all of my deductions. And um, it's the historical as well as the current. So when, uh, when we're making changes, we never want to, in terms of the Human Resource and Payroll Department, remove what we have in the past. We just create a new record with a new effective date. So I can see here my salary in 2005 was 50000 And then in 2009, I uh, received a raise up to 100000 So I have my historical records here. Um, and whatever is the most current effective date is going to be the current rate that the uh, payroll department is using when they're processing my payroll. We see the same thing here with our 401k rate. We have something that was effective in 2004 at 2%. Now, as of 2009, I am using a 3% uh, contribution to the 401k. Again, none of these are um, editable for the employee, but they are a reference for them to review and then communicate with the Human Resource Department if they want to make any type of change to their, um, perhaps the 401k deduction. All right, so we are going to um, close out of here and I'm going to go into, which we just touched on, um, 
was the, the federal withholdings. And we have the human resource link. So we have several different uh, documents that are available. And so I'm going to start with the W-4. And again, any one of these are made available by the um, human resources. And if I want to make a change to what I'm withholding, I can bring up the W-4 report, fill it in, and then I would go ahead and I would save this. And so I'm going to go ahead and save that document, close out of that. And then from my employee record, I can actually submit that document to the Human Resource Department. And then they can review it, and then they can make the changes to my federal withholding. So if I had wanted to uh, claim three allowances, perhaps I just had the birth of a child, so um, now we have a third um, allowance that we want to uh, uh, be taken into account when our taxes are being calculated. So I've submitted the W-4 to the Human Resource Department. They're going to review it and make the changes that are necessary. Uh, we also could make available the organizational chart, which the employee then could go ahead and see who, um, who are the managers in different departments and who reports to whom um, <clears throat> within the company. The other area that we would also see when we're logging into the employee portal is going to be um, the company news bulletin. We would uh, currently right now what we're doing is we're, we're tapping into uh, a company blog. So uh, as things become available, perhaps company picnic or um, Christmas party, uh, notices about, um, you know, getting your applications in for um, the end of the year um, benefit plans when they're due. These all can be posted through a blog and then these are published out on the employee portal. In any one of these, the end users can certainly go ahead and click on the information and it's going to bring up a link applications for uh, year-end uh, benefit plans need to be submitted, uh, what have you, can be posted through the, uh, the company news bulletin. And as an employee, when I log in through the employee portal, then all of these posts will be available for, um, for each employee to access. So uh, as an employee portal, we, again, it's more than just a clogging, clocking in and out for the day. We, we have many different things that we can access and review. Uh, from my employee record, there's, there's several different pieces of information that I can uh, gain access to and um, submit, reprint my paychecks, review my timesheets, and um, whatever documentation that uh, the human resources wants to make available for for the employees, the W-4 forms, medical benefits, um, our news bulletin for the company as a whole in terms of what's happening are all in one place for the employees to log in and uh, gain access to. Uh, 